Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yes, I'm sorry I've been MIA for a little while. Uh, actually, I got a little surgery uh, in the last few days. I got my wisdom teeth removed, so I was looking like a hamster. So that's why I decided I didn't want to film, but now I'm back. So like you said in the title, today I want to talk about the four agreements. Uh, this is a book I've listened on Audible recently and did blow my mind for real and that's why I decided I want to share with you my thought on this book so yeah just let's get started so like I told you the book is called The Four Agreements uh, the author the author is um, Miguel Ruiz Ruiz I'm really sorry for the name I don't know really how to pronounce it but yeah uh, actually like I said I've listened to this book in the past weeks on Audible because I heard about this book a long time ago and I just didn't want to buy it right away I wasn't really into it at the time uh, I knew it was more on the spiritual side so I was not really into that mood <laughs> at the time so that's why I didn't um, buy the book but at one point I saw it on Audible and my free credit of the month so I decided to splurge on it and I was listening to it while I was going to work so every free time that I have when I'm on the road that's when I listen to my audiobooks and it's this is when I realized that this book is just awesome it's a really small book get okay? it doesn't take that long to listen to or to read okay I think it's like I don't know how many hours I should check sorry but I'll put it in the description below but yeah it's really not long because it only talks like it says on about four agreements and today I just want to talk uh, just want to say a short summary about the book um, tell my own opinion about it and really share the main message of this book with you guys so like I said there's just four agreements in life that you have to um, agree with yourself to follow because this is going to help you grow this is going to help you um, be more happy so let's start with the first one be impeccable with your words so being impeccable with your words is speak with integrity really believe what you're saying you really think twice before saying something because it also talks about the fact that every word that you use uh, in a sentence when you talk to someone this have a really big impact uh, towards the other person you're uh, talking to so you have to re to be really caref uh, careful about what you're saying how you say it to the other person because this can have a huge uh, either positive or negative impact in their life and we in the in the book they use the example of a kid that hears something that, about um, from her mother so the kid actually is singing hot flower in the in the house she's really happy so just singing uh, after lunch and the mom comes back to work she's really tired she's feeling sick she's not feeling that good and the fact that her kid is like singing hot love makes her mad so she just yell at her saying that stop yelling stop singing you don't even sing good you know you don't really have a beautiful voice you just stop singing in front of me so she didn't want to be you know mean to her girl for sure to her good daughter but the daughter will remember this moment in her whole life because she will think for a moment that her voice is not beautiful her voice is not uh, worth say to be saying but you know what I mean so maybe she's gonna carry this uh, opinion she's gonna carry um, this message in her head for years before she has the courage to sing again and to go through to go over the fact that she thinks she's a bad singer a bad singer so this is the whole thing about be impeccable with your words speak with integrity say only what you mean how about you use uh, avoid as much as possible to use the word to gossip or to speak about yourself in a negative way and always use the power of your words towards the truth and with love for sure so this is the first agreement the second agreement is don't take anything personal and I think for me this is a really big thing because sometimes we receive comments from people and we do think either they're bad or mean to, towards us we do think that wow is this person doesn't like me what did I do to them or stuff like that and in fact what happens is that what they say to you is in fact the 
reflection of what they're thinking of themselves. So sometimes they can be really mad, they tell you something that is totally wrong in a way that you feel that it's wrong, it's not supposed to be throughout you, or it's not to be that mean, and because you know that you didn't do something wrong, but maybe something happened in their day, maybe they, maybe they realized something or something happened uh, in their day that didn't go so well. So when they talk to you, they actually talk with their emotions about what they felt or what happened in their day. I don't know if you get what I mean. So most of the time what they're saying is a reflection of how they see a situation, their own opinions and their own emotions towards uh, the whole context. Nothing others say is mostly because of you. That would never be because of you. So when um, I would say an example, if someone is jealous, most of the time they would say mean stuff to you like, oh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna cheat, I'm pretty sure it's gonna, something's gonna happen, and blah blah blah, and you feel bad about it, but actually the person is just showing his own insecurity and and how he does that is by telling you, you know, mean words, mean sentences. And you think that, wow, am I a bad person? Am I doing something wrong? Am I showing something wrong? But in fact, just the person doesn't feel good about himself or itself, herself. So that's how it's going to react. So don't take anything too personal okay so that's a really big thing because what others say do is a projection of their own reality so whatever the others do and say is a projection of their own reality their own dream so in the reality they live in if you're immune to uh, the opinion of the people and the option in the actions of others you won't be the victim uh, of their suffering so you have to be really careful and not take anything too personally because otherwise you're going to suffer for nothing. So this is the second agreement. Oh, the third agreement is a big one as well. It's don't make assumptions. So we, I think we're really good at that. I mean, in bad ways, meaning that most of the time we think about a situation and we are almost 100% that we're right about what's going on and we know what's going to happen for sure. Uh, if I'm making an example, uh, this is something I really have to work on personally. This is um, this is really one of the agreements that made uh, that opened my eyes uh, about how I am really, and I've never realized that before. That I do sometimes think and believe <laughs> that someone's gonna do something. Example: If I say something to them. I almost believe for 100% that they're gonna react a certain way but in fact I cannot be 100% sure because I didn't do it I didn't ask them or I didn't do the action so I cannot know for sure that it's gonna be the real way they're gonna react I don't know if you get me but sometimes we are afraid to tell the truth to people we're afraid to tell some information because we think that the person will not react uh, right or we not have a good reaction towards what we just say so what we do we just say nothing and what happens it's even worse because the person is gonna think that wow you cannot even uh, trust me you don't want to talk to me you don't want to tell me everything that just happened so you're maybe you're probably hiding something to me so you have to be careful with uh, with that because that was not your intention to hide something towards a person because you were just afraid of the reaction but you should not be because you never know how the person's gonna really react unless you just do it and say and do the action another example that I can have is Maybe you don't want to try a specific sport or a specific technique in your sport because you do think that you won't have it, you won't even succeed or you will not be able to do it. But until you try it, you will never know if that was real, okay? So don't make assumptions about yourself and don't make assumptions about other people, okay? Everything about the rumors, gossiping and stuff like that, you have to be really careful because most of the time all these stuff are not real, okay? They're all made up and you really need to make sure and have the courage to ask the other person if it's true, if it's not and be sure that you're true as well, that you're really true about what you're doing, what you're saying so this way nobody can make assumption about what you're doing and what you're saying. So this is the third agreement. And the last one is a good one too. Well, I mean, before 
fourth are really good but this one is good as well is always do your best so in whatever you're doing don't do it halfway just go all the way in and that's gonna push you to go towards like your main goal towards what you really want to do and you have to remember that your best that your best gonna change from moment to moment so example for day you're feeling super good you're feeling awesome super healthy and everything in a good shape while well, your best gonna be different compared to a day that you feel sick you feel uh, you know not lazy but you feel um, sleepy okay you feel sad maybe but each time just do your best uh, considering how you feel as well so just you have to think in your mind you have to know in your mind that if you're uh, you feeling in a good shape you're gonna act as your best at this moment and you don't feel good just act your best for this moment so under any uh, circumstances just do your best so this way you won't feel any regret you will not uh, go under self uh, judgment because you didn't do what you had to do or you will think to yourself that wow I could have done better than that and just avoid that and just do your best each time just push yourself to your limit so this way you will know what's your limit and you will know how good you are actually because sometimes we stop ourselves because you know either we don't want to do too much lose energy or we do things make assumptions about the fact that maybe we're not good enough and stuff but just try it just do it just make the action okay just do it and you will see if you try to do your best each time in every area of your life could be for you in in your job uh, sport um, health fitness life with your friend with your love in any area of your life if you try to do your best you will achieve new levels and you would just keep getting better for sure so that's it guys uh, I just want to say like uh, to end this video this book really opened my eyes opened my mind about a lot of stuff I did realize that in my life I didn't agree I wasn't uh, totally pursuing those goals uh, like I told you making assumptions is a big thing for me and I realized it with this book so it was really uh, a good experience for me because I realized I do believe something and I have no clue I have no facts about it you know what I mean like I I cannot really tell that it's hundred percent right without doing it trying it or whatever so sometimes I stop myself or I hide myself <laughs> behind something because I do think the person is going to react bad to uh, about the thing I'm just going to say or I just don't say too much just to make sure the person doesn't get mad at me. So this is something I'm now walking, uh, working on because it's really important for me to be uh, to tell the truth all the time and not feel bad about it and just make sure that the person know or the person I'm talking to know that I'm always uh, saying the truth okay so this is a really really big thing and don't take anything personally this is a big thing for me too because sometimes it's it's so easy to like feel sad about someone saying something to you and you feel like wow am I really that bad or am I really uh, not a good person but in fact the person just you know um, reflect its own uh, vision of how he sees the thing and that can be hard if that's something you have to, we have to work on is you have to disconnect our emotions to certain um, certain stuff in our lives certain uh, context cert, uh, certain re uh, situation so this way we're immune to to need less suffering so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm super happy to be back after this almost two weeks without making video and i hope you happy to to see me again so bye guys thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe i would really really appreciate bye